Now there are some commonly <coughs> asked questions, conceptual questions. We will give you more. <coughs> First is sketch graph showing variation of impedance of LCR circuit with frequency of applied voltage. We know that I am answering one question number one. We know that Z is equal to R square plus XL minus XC whole square square root of this. So when you plot a graph, try to understand this graph. Impedance versus frequency. New. The graph will come like this because when one increases, other decreases, and this position, minimum position, you will obtain when frequency is equal to resonant frequency. XL minus XC whole square. Resonant frequency. That resonant frequency XL is equal to XC, so circuit uh, becomes purely resistive. So this is the answer for question number one. Now for question number two. Let's see the question number two. In the following figure A, B, C, frequency of AC source is increased. Solution for question 2. What will be the effect on the current in each case? In first case, no effect. Reason R is independent of frequency. In the second reason, when frequency is increased, XL will increase, so current will decrease. XL measures resistance, so when resistance is increasing, current will decrease. In the third, XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi nu C, so when frequency increases, XC decreases current will increase that's how you have to answer question number three when capacitor is connected in series with LR circuit the current in the circuit increases why question number three Impedance of LR circuit Z is equal to R square plus XL whole square square root. Now you have introduced capacitor. Then impedance becomes what? R square plus XL minus XC whole square square root. Now you see what there will be some value of XC. So XL effective value will decrease, the second part will decrease. So as a result, impedance decreases by introducing capacitor. Impedance decreases, therefore current increases. That's what is the answer for question number three. Question number four. Can can we operate transformer with DC? Answer is no. Answer is no. Why? Third has also done. Question number four. Can we operate? Transformer with DC, answer is no, because transformer works on 
on the principle of mutual induction and mutual induction cannot be achieved by DC source. So question number four. Why the core of transformer is laminated? State answer to reduce loss due to eddy currents. The power factor of LCR circuit is 1. What is the nature of circuit? Answer is it becomes a resonant circuit. So these are answers for question 4, 5 and 6. Coming to the question number 7. An inductor is connected in series with bulb. What happens to the brightness of the bulb when number of times are increased? Now you see answer. L is equal to mu naught n is square A over L. When you increase number of turns, L increases. Right? This means XL increases. This means current decreases. And brightness, brightness depends on current. So brightness decreases. I repeat it again quickly. L is equal to mu naught n square A over L. L increases, Xc increases. Xc increases, therefore current decreases. And current decreases and <clears throat> brightness increases. Second part, soft iron core is introduced. Again, when you introduce soft iron core, then this factor will change. This will be mu naught, mu r relative permeability, n square a over l. So, eventually, your XL increases. XL increases. Same result, then current decreases. And then brightness decreases. AC is replaced by DC source. Right? When you replace AC by DC, brightness will remain constant. Bulb will glow with constant brightness. Because XL is equal to 0 for ideal conductor. Similarly, we have one more question similar to this question. Instead of number of turns, I can say now inductor ki jaga laga dete hai capacitor. A capacitor is connected in series with bulb. Let's make this diagram again. Now in capacitor, what will be the intensity of bulb when 
when number one dielectric slab is introduced. Number two, DC source is replacing AC source. Number three, capacitance is decreased. So see answer now. When you introduce dielectric slab, what happens? Capacitance of capacitor increases. We know the formula with dielectric slab it is K times of epsilon naught A over M. K times epsilon over D where K is dielectric constant. So capacitance increases. When capacitance increases, then Xc will 1 over omega C, this will decrease. Xc measures resistance, therefore bulb brightness increases. When you apply DC source, for DC, we know Xc is equal to infinite. We normally call it as capacitor is real blockade for DC because frequency is zero. Right? So, answer is bulb will not glow. because it offers infinite resistance to the DC. So there will be no flow of capacitance is decreases. This you can again answer on behalf of this. 1 over omega C when you are decreasing capacitance Xc increases. Then brightness decreases. Funda behind that is same. If resistance of the circuit increases then current decreases. If resistance of the circuit decreases current increases and brightness of the world depends on the strength of the current flowing through the circuit. So larger be the current more be the brightness. These are some questions which we have discussed are very very important you can introduce one more here if frequency is decreased AC source frequency is decreased if frequency is decreased then again Xc increases then brightness decreases right 